We all know that today we have an immigration system that's out of date and badly broken, a system that's holding us back instead of helping us grow our economy and strengthen our middle class. I believe we are finally at a moment where comprehensive immigration reform is within our grasp. That was President Obama earlier today unveiling his plan for immigration reform. We'll tell you what he said and what it means. That and more right here, right now on the News Hub. Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Simon Constable. With the skinny on the immigration reform, we've got the Wall Street Journal's Laura Meckler. She joins us now from Washington, D.C. Laura, thanks for being there. You bet. So uh, you obviously watched the, uh, the speech by President Obama. What did he outline and what are the most important things? Well, I think he did a couple different things. He put out what the basic principles he'd like to see in an immigration bill. And really in his speech, he sort of went over it once lightly and then put out some um, a document fleshing out his ideas. But really the ideas are not that surprising. They include some tougher border security measures, better uh, able better ways for employers to check whether potential hires are in fact in the country legally, a path to citizenship for the 11 million people who are currently in the country again, um, who either overstayed their visas or crossed the border illegally. So that's what he talked about. Um, but what he also said was he sort of was encouraged by the process that's under the way in the Senate right now. On Monday, eight members of the Senate, two, four Republicans and four Democrats, put out a framework with very similar ideas for comprehensive immigration reform. And he wanted to encourage that along and um, sort of add his voice to the mix. Now, the devil will be in the details with this sort of thing. Do you see any um, stumbling blocks or points of, of contention that cannot be bridged? Well, I don't know about cannot be bridged, but there are a lot of points of contention. Mm. Um, if you ask any one of these people, the, from the president uh, to the Senate, anywhere you look, they'll tell you that there are a lot of things that are going to be difficult. For instance, um, Republicans want the citizenship provisions to be contingent on the border being secure first. Well, what does that mean, the border being secure? Does it mean you have a certain number of border agents and that's a very easy thing to measure or is it a more amorphous thing that has some room for judgment? That's a question that will be difficult. Then there are some smaller sub-issues that really are kind of to the side of the central debate but that could easily um, bog things down. For instance, would the people who are here in the country illegally now, once they get legal status but not quite citizenship, would they be eligible for subsidies under the 2010 health care law? That's something that's been identified by several people as a potential stumbling, stumbling block. Another one is, would lesbian and gay um, partners be able to sponsor their spouse or partner for citizenship? Right now, obviously, you can do that if you're married in a, a heterosexual couple. Um, would, you ha would those rights also extend to gays and lesbians? So these are some of the kind of side issues, but there are also some very important central issues. So um, we'll have to see how this whole thing plays. Out. And of course, there is one important word that is going to be a bit of a lightning rod. That's uh, amnesty, right? Right. Well, amnesty is what opponents of this plan have long called it. What they mean by that is essentially you are getting away with breaking the law. You know, we're forgiving you for having broken the law, either overstayed your visa or crossed the border illegally. Um, in, you know, what the proponents of this, and this includes people in both parties, are saying is it's not amnesty because people are going to have to pay a fine, pay back taxes, get in the back of the line. Everybody kind of agrees on some of these principles. So what they're the way that this is trying to be sold is as a... Uh, essentially not amnesty but you know paying your debt and then getting right with the law uh, whether that works or not with some opponents we'll have to see but so far yeah. they've had uh, a fair amount of success okay well we shall see and we have to leave it there thank you very much laura mackler of the You're wall street journal